All right, before we go any further, we need to take a moment and save our work. Now you can log in to Pixlr to save it to Pixlr's library, or you can not log in and save it to your computer. I'm going to go ahead and click log in in the top right corner and notice it gives me the option to sign in with Google. So if you do have a Google account, as many students and teachers do, uh, you can go ahead and sign in with your Google account. The good news is that you do not have to be logged in to save your work. You can choose file and then save and then instead of to saving to Pixar library, which requires that sign in with Google, you would click my computer. Now this is the original file name. So I'm going to call this purple haired girl and then you can do edit or something like that if you want to. JPEG is fine. Um, I like to be able to edit it later. And if I save it as a JPEG, it's going to flatten my layers so that I can't edit them. So if you want to come back and be able to edit, then it's a good idea to choose the layered Pixlr image. Other formats are, of course, Ping and TIFF. Ping, Bitmap, and TIFF. All right, so I see the file size down here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now what this means is that only Pixlr is going to be able to open this photo right now. So maybe instead of saving it as just a Pixlr image, just in case, I'll also come in here and save it you know, as a JPEG and I make the quality as good as it'll go all the way up to 100 and choose OK. All right, so now I've got it saved. Good job. Next up, we're going to edit her skin.